Okay, this is a tutorial on how to modify a page on the back end of our website. The page I'm looking at here on the back end is the Marathon Bridge page, and I'll use this as an example on how to make changes. Okay, you'll notice that if I look at the front page here, you will see at the top there is a section that has a logo, it has the name of the page and a picture. Below there's a divider line and below that there is a description of the Marathon Bridge and a schedule and some drop downs for telephone numbers and emails. If I take this to the back end and take a look at the back end, you'll notice that the back end is broken down into what we call sections. Okay, There's a full template section and then we can break it down into different sections inside. Um, if I was to create a new one, for an example, if I was to come down here and create a standard section, I can choose between all these different sections in here to use. So for an example, if I wanted to divide it into half, I can, or I can make it a full one for an example. Now inside that, I can insert different modules into that, which I'll get to in a minute. So if I go back here, and I delete that section just to show you again, I can actually put in a full section and then I can insert modules from there. Now, different types of modules can get a full header, full width, so on and so forth. So basically, if you're creating a new one, we just come in, we put in a standard section and we choose how many dividers we want or how much we want to divide it into the page. So if I divide it into thirds, you will notice that it comes up with three sections or modules that we can put information in. Now inside each module, if I insert or insert a module, I have all these different types of modules that I can put in. Normally we use a text module, for an example we'll do that, or we'll put in a, an image module or a video module. Any one of these can go into those sections and they can be um, multiple, you can have multiple ones in here, you can have a video in here and a text in here and so on and so forth. So if I go back and look at what's already in here, You'll notice at the top that we put in a section with three items in it. In each one, we put an image, a text, and an image, and that corresponds to what you see here. Image, text, and image. Now, to make changes to any one of these, you just go to the, to the module that you want to change, and to the left where the three bars is, this is where we go in and make our changes. If you want to duplicate and then make changes. You can do what they call clone or click on this box here and of course this one over here deletes it. Okay so if I was to go into the settings it will open up a window where I can now go in and make changes to that particular page. There's two places. There's the visual where I can make a change. I can actually go right in here and right over top of that and I have different items up here that I can center, change the color, so on and so forth. You can do it right there. If you need to add code, you go to the text, and the text will allow you to add in your specific HTML code. There's also two other links at the top here. There's one called Design. The Design allows you to change the text, the text weight, the spacing, and so on and so forth. You can go through and see this. Um, it also change the border style and box shadow and all that information. There's an advanced section here if you want to add in specific code, uh, which I would ask you to stay away from. If anything like that has to be done, I will do it. Okay. So once you make some changes, once you've made changes, if you come here and you're looking in existing, you want to say drop the exclamation mark or something. Once you've done that, make sure that you just go save and exit and it will save it, then you need to update the page to make it work. The next section down is a divider section. As you can see, we put in a divider here. I like to divide all the pages from the top to the bottom. If you're going to, if a new page is created, let me know and I will create the new page to a point where you can start adding information into that page. So if we come down to the next one, you'll notice that we've created a full size page where we've put in text. I want to modify the text. I just come in here and I click on it and I can now go in in this section here and make changes to my text. Now there is a little section up here that's kind of important. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe it's not here anymore. 
Okay. Okay, it's not important there. Forget I said that. Okay, so we can just go in here and you can modify the text as I was saying. Make your changes into the text. And then once you're done, just click on save and exit. And if you've made changes, go back and update the page. Okay. Here in the third section, you'll notice that we've divided it into two. Now over here on the left, sorry, on the left over here is just a straight image. And it just happens to be a image of the schedule for this. And on the right, you'll notice that I have put in what they call a toggle and then a divider. A toggle is just a drop down. It's a different type of module. So if you go in here, you'll, I said it, you'll see all types of modules. You can check them out and see what's available. But this is just a toggle that allows you to have a drop down. So if I go back here, you'll notice that in the telephone, it's just a toggle where I was able to put in a, a spreadsheet into there, okay? So if I go back again to look, sorry, into the section here, if I go into the toggle, you'll notice that I've added what we call a table, okay? Table is another item in here, the table press. Uh, I'll try to put something in a little bit later on this. Okay, so again, I just put a bunch of dividers in to divide it. And that will just give you a basic over idea of the page. One other thing that's very important on the page is at the very bottom of the page, it's very important that we add in that this is protected and it's only for AGAJ members. That way, only people that can see the page are the people that come in or are members of our of our group. So make sure that any changes you make that you click on the update afterwards. If you go in here and you do make a change, make sure that you click on save and exit and then do your update. That gives you an idea of how we work in the back end.